What is up, Whale Fam B20 community? Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Inside B20, where Tubador, our estimated guest, uh, <laughs> us to uh, you know give us the rundown on everything that occurred uh, leading up to the purchase of the Beeple pieces. Tubador, welcome back. How you feeling, my friend? Hey, hey, hey! Great to be back, Alikia. Always good to be back here. Yeah, man. What a week. Uh, I mean, I guess we can say that about every week. I don't know how many. <laughs> how else? <laughs> yeah, every week true. is a week. <laughs> yeah. Um, yo, one thing that we didn't talk about. I saw that uh, Meta Meta Cartel. Oh, Meta Factory. That jacket. That, oh, was, that yeah. was sick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Was we had a lot of fun putting that together with uh, Meta Factory, the the bomber jacket and the B twenty. Uh, yeah, I named both of them. I loved writing <laughs> writing that crap, the the blurbs. So I had a little bit of fun with that. So, so yeah, let's see. Uh, I, I believe the bomber got sold out very quickly. I don't know if oh, the yeah, pieces are left. So if you guys want to grab some, go for it. Um, did you get a special edition one? What, you know, do you got extra pockets? What does yours have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ours has a, a you know. A, a tiny little extra label that uh, says it's the you know B20 team or something like that. Oh, yeah, okay. we didn't get a special edition for ourselves. Yeah, Exclusive. just a little something. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> awesome. Um, so this week we're up uh, episode six. Uh, it's called the team's dream, right? Yep. And um, tell us a tell us a little. Well, if you can tell us a little bit about episode five, how that ended up, and going to the team's dream. Sure. Uh, I mean, we did have a dream team uh, putting the B twenty thing together, so we thought it'd be a great idea to record what they actually felt about that uh, project, right? Because uh, Metal Coven and I, for us, the, the most. Uh, uh, how do I say it? Most satisfying part, the most validating part of this is, uh, is is the fact that the people we worked with, the people we chose to work with, all believed in the same kind of a dream. We shared that dream about B20, what it is, what it represents, and, and what we think it's going to be. And so uh, it made perfect sense for us to, um, you know, try and record some of that. Uh, what did John from Grow Your Base feel about it? What did Matthew, uh, you know? And Andrew Steinwald and Brooke feel about it. What did uh, Voxel Architects feel about it, and so on? So it, it becomes such a historic little nugget, right? I mean, even if they look back on it two years from now or three years from now, I mean, what would they feel? So that's that's what this particular episode is about: the team's dream when it comes to B20. I think uh, you saw how the build went down in the previous episode, in episode five, how. Uh, Voxel Architects basically took an idea from the back of a napkin uh, and and made uh, made magic with it. So uh, th this this episode's special because it starts to talk about what each uh, member of the team felt about B20. So I can't wait to get into it, man. Beautiful, yeah. Last last week's episode, uh, we pretty much highlighted uh, Leandro from Vo Voxel Architects, pretty big. Um, can't wait to see what the rest of the team has uh, going on. Um, yeah, definitely very excited. And then um, maybe after the episode, we can give another rundown of um, the master key uh, for those that, that haven't been informed. Maybe yep. it would be good to uh, you know get that info out there to them. All right. Um, yeah, uh, uh, people listening, if you have some questions, you know, you can drop it in the chat. We'll try to get to them. Uh, just so that everyone is well informed. Um, okay, I think without further ado, let's 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 get into episode uh, six, please. Yes. This portfolio bundle includes um, some of the the most coveted, most valuable real estate in the metaverse, from the central land, the crypto boxes, and and those are part of the package. The 
the total number of NFTs is 35. It's brand new. It's something that's never been done in the metaverse. And it combines all the great aspects and just like doing cool shit and bringing it all together in this one amazing package. And uh, yeah, just a really cool experiment to be a part of. Yeah, and then going off that, like I think we're super lucky to be in a position where we can kind of work with work with uh, MetaPerse and B20 because MetaCast, like we, we as an entity, we have so much demand for, for for our services, right? So we're we're really like the only, and I think you know the best game in town in terms of NFT related marketing. And so the fact that we get to work, and, and we only work with people that we think are really good, right? And so when when you know MetaCoven and Tubular approached us. And kind of told us about the idea we're like oh my gosh like this is this is sweet this is a total game changer we want to be a part of it like let's go and so um yeah we're just we're just lucky to be in this position position i'd say but again it's, it goes back to just like being in the right right time right place and, and um yeah just just uh being lucky that we, we uh have these have these contacts and stuff like that in, in my opinion it's, it's one of the biggest projects so far that is happening in, in the metaverse you know and and it's involving so many parties and so many so many different talents and also so much wealth and so so much like cool art and so much ideas that uh, it's impossible to you know to skip it you know we we need to be part of it you know? if at the end of all this if, if i can help um you know allow hundreds of thousands if not millions of new users new owners own b20s and, and these other exciting products uh that's that's a great legacy to leave and and i feel that metaverse is really zoned into that b20 is moving away from that old flip model of art where it's you know you buy it and you hold it or you lock it away forever you can never see it again um it's cool how he's putting them publicly on display in these beautiful galleries which have become works of art in and of themselves and it's kind of in a way giving back to the community and enriching it not taking anything away from it it doesn't matter if you're from korea india or thailand the us south america they, you anyone can participate in this and own that like, experience that share in this this um burgeoning renaissance, renaissance that's happening in this digital space um this is a unique one in terms of risk reward uh, because um, this isn't backed by um you know a team in the long run this isn't backed by government regulations uh this is this actually has this is value back right it has value of art my biggest doubt were like worrying about the numbers. I wanted as many people as possible to come to the event. I wanted as many people as possible to be interested in our our posts and our content. But since I'm kind of in like the, the back seat looking at these numbers coming in, I've been super stoked to see that people are, are really excited. So those spirits have kind of faded away. But of course, anything could go wrong, right? But I think that I mean, I think that uh, as long as we go into it with being completely prepared, it, it's not going to be a failure. I think that that word experience is core to everything that we're doing. And it's core to the NFT space, crypto art space, the metaverse. You have to experience it. You have to come to one of these events. You have to scoop your first piece of crypto art to really get and understand the energy and excitement that's surrounding this space. And with with Metapalooza, with the B20 launch, I feel like this is the opportunity for people to experience it. And as long as it hits, and it, from all signs, it looks like it's going to be a massive success. As long as that is the case, doing this again for maybe a, a larger uh, basket of artists to gain exposure for them and give them that exposure, that's what I'm really excited about heading forward from this and giving more people access and the opportunity to experience this and come into this area that just it's honestly the brightest light in the world today in my opinion for me there was a, a before and after the people drop you know so with this particular project the b20 um i think there is also like 
this uh, new chapter on, on how people will experience this type of art? I mean, the reason this is coming together is two, two, two reasons. One is the thoughtful ambition of Manikova and Tubador and the top-notch team that they put together. Full stop. Full stop, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, yeah. Another great look uh, at, at, you know, at what everyone was thinking kind of um, going into this, right? Yeah. Um, and it's really cool to see, um, you know, how, how much they believe that, that, how much of a good thing they believe this is um, and then kind of what power it, it gives to the holders. Um, uh, you know, uh, it, was, it was important. You know, like, like like Leandro said that there was a before and after B twenty. Um, do you do you see this as something that that um, that can catch on? Not not like a fad or anything, but something that other mm. people would be interested in trying. Uh, I think it's already caught on. To be honest, I mean, the for better or worse, the the big the biggest and the only solution for liquidity around NFT uh, NFTs right now is fractionalization. And everybody's moved away from the idea of trying to fractionalize a single NFT into creating these experiences or at least these bundles to fractionalize. In fact, we've got enterprises like uh, Uniquely, which are all about uh, fractionalized ownership. They've got an entire tokenomics model. So, yeah, I do see that aspect of it catching on. On a more, you know, a personal level, um, I thought the best thing about this episode is that. Uh, none of these opinions have changed right we've been consistent in how we thought about uh, uh, the b20 project from then to now and i loved loved it when john said uh, you know long term it doesn't depend on the team at all you know uh, what we do what we don't do if we turn out to be absolute uh, you know uh, <laughs> criminal jerks it doesn't matter the the thing is completely on chain now we can't control it or you know uh, meddle with it even if we wanted to and uh, it just exists we can't screw it up because it's already uh, perfect it's done and there's nothing else to do about it there's no roadmap there's no uh, you know uh, there's no tech or dev work that needs to go into it to give it value because it's already backed by a bunch of uh, the most historically and culturally significant NFTs there are. Beautiful. Um, yeah, it, it, it's kind of like a thing that, that is, you know, it's just living and breathing uh, all on its own after you guys, you know, the maiden voyage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Very dope. Uh, how many how many episodes are in total? Or are we adding more as, as the story unfolds? <laughs> we, we have been adding a few more. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be honest about it. But uh, we're capping this season with uh, 10 episodes. So uh, we're more than halfway through. Uh, we've got just four more to go. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. I'm sure the community yeah. will be here to enjoy all of them. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, NFT Radio and then we can talk about the Master Key. Sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of our friends are aware. I, I do this weekly thing on Thursdays at 8 p.m. CST. It's called uh, NF. Sorry about that. Some issues with the mic. No problem. Yeah. So uh, it's it's just a, a fun thing uh, I started after the B20 launch and you know after the whole people thing happens. Uh, you know, we were thinking about uh, what's what's the best thing we can do in this, uh, you know, uh, with, with all of this newfound uh, attention, uh, you know, what do you do? Do you, uh, you know, raise funds? Do you build a project? I thought the, the simplest and uh, most useful thing I could do is to talk about NFTs with the people that 
made this space what it is today and uh, that's what nft radio has been about uh, for the first 10 days we did uh, a daily episode <clears throat> that was super fun just put together you know we had everybody from you know balaji shrinivasan to shriram to uh, you know uh, roham to so many people all the wonderful people in the nft space uh, be part of that nft radio program and we continue to have just these amazing conversations uh, about anything and everything under the sun we've spoken about art we've spoken about music we've spoken about sport we've spoken about uh, you know vr uh, we've spoken about uh, uh, artificial intelligence we had darth vader on by the way <laughs> via the alethea program and uh, um, you know last week we had uh, uh, the woka uh, the women of crypto art talk about their latest uh, uh, collaborative piece which is the the crypto tarot and also you know a lot of tiny magical things happen during nft radio right people inside the space we make interesting connections new people pop onto the stage and uh, become really interesting voices there's this auctioneer called uh, ck right he, he used to work at christies as an auctioneer and uh, he's got this amazing perspective uh, where he's able to uh, link the the amazing artwork that he sees in the crypto space and the music that he hears here with you know references from art history and musical history uh, from the last 50 years or 100 years and so yeah it's it's just uh, super fun uh, these these discussions and i'd love for the whale community to also be part of it we've had whale shark on uh, more than a few times actually yeah yeah it's always um I, a, a treat when you can get all these people in this space together um kind of just to you know see what they're thinking and then and, and how it's going for them what they're what they're excited about there's always something new right there's always something new and exciting or, or something's getting upgraded so um yeah i definitely uh, i i i linked the nft radio twitter there so you guys can keep up um definitely give them a follow and, and show up for uh next thursday's episode yeah you can also catch uh, all of the uh, previous episodes if you want to actually it's uh, nftradio.io so yeah. we've we've got a, a whole bunch of those as well so feel free i'll drop that link right there nftradio.io check it out um sweet sweet Tugador. so tell us uh give us uh, uh, i know we spoke about it last time uh, about the master key, but for those of us in the audience that mm. haven't heard or don't know exactly what that entails, uh, please give us the rundown and then and, and and how do you see how you how you see it going so far? Yeah, happy to man. I mean, it's a uh, it's a bit of closure uh, for us, the B twenty team, because uh, with with this, uh, all of the dev work, the smart contract work, the building is is like officially done. There's there's nothing we can do anymore, even if we tried that that sort of a thing. So it's it's really, uh, you know, it's like uh, uh, a little bird flying the nest. You're you're letting it, you know, pushing it out into the world. That kind of a thing. Um, so the B20 master key is basically one single NFT, which is the you know it, it's practically the first uh, NFT from MetaPurse, and uh, uh, it's it's also the most powerful NFT we have seen so far, because only if you have the B20 master key NFT, you can control the uh, entire bundle that contains these 35 uh, uh, NFTs, right? As part of the people, uh, uh, as part of the B20 project, you've got the 20 pieces, you've got the land parcels, you've got blouse soundscape, you've got the actual bills, all of that stuff. You, you get to control, you get to own only if you have the B20 master key. So now that the buyout is live, what you're bidding for is the B20 master key. And the opening uh, bid for the master key is set at $58 million, which makes it instantly the second most valuable uh, NFT on the planet. Right, so that's what the master key is about. At a, at a more personal level for all of us, um, we have burned the admin rights to the B20 project to make it truly trustless right so uh, in a sense now if we wanted to add or remove any nfts from the b20 bundle we'd have to put in 58 million dollars get control of the b20 master key and then change things 
so without that there is there's practically nothing that uh, we can do to uh, you know uh, change anything within the bundle so uh, uh, it's a very important part of the b20 journey and uh, one that's very you know in a sense it's definitive and i think the b20 community will be able to appreciate this because this is what we've been talking about right from the beginning uh, to you know this is what shared ownership feels like right no single person or persons have an absolute uh, control or right over these assets it's actually shared uh, ownership and uh, it's trustless as well amazing so 58 million dollars to edit <laughs> um i'm sure yeah uh, i'm sure you guys can pull it off if you really had to <laughs> you really had to change something <laughs> no nah, we're done we're done changing stuff in that way <laughs> okay okay um awesome uh i think you know that it, it it's definitely it, it is a, a very very powerful nfc to have i mean imagine the, the possibilities uh that, that that someone can do with 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 all that power um you know yeah it's, it's, uh, i don't know if 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 it's dawned on people exactly like you know what it what that means but uh, what what is one example like you know uh, maybe the nft could be split up again or or what do you what what do you what what do you see as one of the craziest use cases for something like this for that answer? anything can happen illegally i mean that's the thing right that's why it's a leap of faith so uh, uh, any person who has control of it he can instantly just you know remove all of those nfts and sell them on the open market if he wanted to he can uh, you know again issue a token backed by those assets like b20 only it won't be b20 anymore it it will probably be something else he could do that or he could just or he or she could just let it let it be and uh, write the narrative and make b20 uh, even more recognizable even more uh, you know famous and popular in the world than it already is take these to museums uh, a lot around the world you know uh, conduct physical events around b20 all of those things uh, you could do the the crazy use case i suppose the the one thing that we would never even consider doing in a million years is to break up that bundle and sell those nfts that would be the last thing i'd do okay okay hopefully the the new owner uh, keeps that into account that you wouldn't do that <laughs> yeah i mean it's just wishful thinking isn't it because once it's past hands it's uh, it's entirely up to them uh, yeah and um one question that i've seen uh i don't know if it was twitter um but it's what what does that mean for the holders of b20 uh essentially right like if the sale if if someone does end up buying this um yeah break that down for us please sure sure that's easy if uh, someone does successfully place a bid first of all if you uh, i mean if you don't like the bid uh 12% of of b20 if it's staked in the smart contract the bid is vetoed basically cancelled and then anybody that uh, uh wants to bid again will have to bid uh 58 million dollars plus another 8% that's how the bid uh, bidding process works so now if somebody successfully bids for the piece and it goes unchallenged for uh, 14 days then he gets control of the entire bundle it's his he got what he paid for but as for the b20 holders you can do one of two things you can either redeem your b20 tokens uh for uh, uh for die because that's what he's deposited uh in the um, in the smart contract now so each of your b20s will then effectively be worth uh uh $5.80 because it's uh, the bid is 58 million you can directly redeem your b20 tokens for die or you can hold on to them and continue to trade them because they are ERC20 tokens you can redeem them uh, today uh, tomorrow i mean that is if if someone is thus successfully bid you can redeem them on that same day or a year from then or 5 years that's entirely up to you as long as it's on chain as long as there's ethereum and the internet you can redeem it whenever you want or you can hold on to the tokens that's what it means for the token holders okay okay um it seems like i should buy some more b20 right now <laughs> <laughs> oh man well. um, i know that uh you know the 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 market is the market and and it's fluctuating and stuff like that but um 
it, it it's it's interesting to see what that that the correlation in be, between the buyer and the and the rest of the holders, right? Um, yeah, that would be very interesting. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. Uh, what 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 can we expect uh, for episode seven? Oh, episode seven is going to be about uh, the Metapalooza, the largest virtual event on the blockchain so far. And uh, uh, that's something, um, you know, it was an incredible event, one heck of an event, to be honest. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit, uh, talk about the roller coaster of emotions that we felt there. And, uh, you know, um, we had uh, a token sale that uh, um, that basically ended in 2.5 seconds. And then uh, we deployed another smart contract in less than 40 minutes. We, uh, I did. So that's uh, uh, all of that stuff, uh, I think, gets covered in uh, in the next episode. That is surely one to see. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get some more suspense music uh, coming up there because uh, th those must have been some intense, intense minutes, man. Yeah, man, they were, they were, but so much fun, right? I mean, that's, uh, it's what you live for. Uh, practically, and, and you want that feeling uh, again and again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so everyone, stay tuned uh, for the next episode. It's going to be dope. Uh, the, those were some interesting moments that I lived myself. I was there. <laughs> and um, let, let's revisit that again on uh, episode seven. Um, if you have any questions or anything uh, pertaining to B20, be sure to drop into the channel where Zoro or Tupador uh, usually come through and, and, and help people out if you have any questions about master key or anything like that um, definitely check out nft radio next thursday and stay on the lookout for episode seven of inside b20 that is posing to be one of the best um tubido anything you want to leave us with no just this man uh, everybody uh, stay chill uh, b20 is is a is a labor of love it's a historic project and uh it's only been uh, a few months since it even started. So just, you know, uh, take your foot off the gas a little bit. Enjoy uh, the ride and uh, try to appreciate the fact that as a token holder, you've got the most recognizable token on the planet and that it doesn't need uh, any uh, further uh, action on part of anybody from the team. Just like, you know, uh, uh, B20, uh, the B20 Discord sort of uh, spontaneously sprung up. Not talking about the whale channel, uh, another one. It's it's up to you guys to you know do what you want to to celebrate it in any manner that you want to do. So, but first, breathe a little bit, relax, uh, enjoy the story uh, on on a weekly basis. Go take a look at uh, the previous episodes of the B20 documentary. Feel the story a little bit and become part of it. Excellent, excellent advice. Um, for the people that uh, that say the episodes was, are too short, just watch them from the beginning all over again, <laughs> and it'll make it longer. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that everyone enjoys this. They're, they're so well done. Honestly, uh, again, big up to, to the crew that does the editing and puts the story in such a, you know orderly fashion uh, for all of us to digest. So big ups again there um all right folks you heard it um uh, we will be back for episode seven and check out tubador at nft radio thank you so much for tuning in tubador again my pleasure man we'll see you thanks soon. so much olivia see you guys <laughs> bye bye